Hi, it's Carrie Crystal Moonrise, and I am making this video um, because I'm feeling led to by my soul. And I am organic to the land, I'm organic to the planet, Aboriginal. I am one of the what they would call indigenous which is not really the correct terminology but just so that you guys can understand kind of what I'm saying I'll use that uh, term um, <clears throat> I am holding something that was given to me from my uh, grandmother my mother's mother and something that she um, told me when I was very young don't recall the age at this present moment but something she told me was that um, I am that she well she basically told me that we are part of the Iroquois that was the um, that's the term I know it's not historically the correct term but that is the uh, term that is recognized okay um, Iroquois uh, nation confederacy or whatever the correct term is for that but she basically told me that um, we are Iroquois. Um, and so out of all the things that have transpired in my life and all the journeys that I have gone on, all the people that I've met, um, I re remember that from my grandmother. And I also know the tough life that she lived she used to tell me stories. She loved telling stories. She was such a great storyteller. Um, she told me stories about when she was younger um, that just didn't match up to the stories that I was told that our people had gone through. My grandmother grew up in a my grandmother was well off, okay? She was well off, meaning she came from a, a background of having, not lack, but having, okay? But I uh, grew up recognizing that that was stripped from her somehow, some way, that was stripped from her. Why? Well, I don't know why, other than to say that there's people out there that when you have, they want and so they take. So, um, they took her wealth, okay? My mom had a pretty tough upbringing um, foster care system and uh, abusive foster parent um, and just an environment that no child should experience. My mom experienced a whole lot and always wanted her children to have better than what she had, which would be a goal of a, of a good parent, right? You want your children to succeed beyond where you feel you are or have been able to. Um, so I'm saying that to say that I have been on a journey of self-discovery. Along that journey, I have embraced my organicness, my aboriginalness, 
my uniqueness and I am reclaiming all of what was stolen from my family. I am reclaiming um, whatever the inheritance was that belonged to my grandmother. I am reclaiming that on her behalf. I am reclaiming whatever was stolen from my mother. I am reclaiming that on her behalf. I am reclaiming whatever was stolen from me. I am reclaiming that on my behalf. I am reclaiming whatever was stolen from my children. I am reclaiming all of that from the thieves who stole it. Um, I should not have to <laughs> be in lack because of others who want that for me. I should not have to experience hardships because that's what others want of me so that they can uh, harness or harvest uh, the abundance that is mine. I reclaim all of it back now. Um, as being organic to the land, as being Aboriginal to the land, as being an indig indigenous, right? Um, these organizations are on my land. So why are they charging me? anything they should be paying me to be on my land and I know there's a lot of people that feel that same way a lot of people who are organic and aboriginal to this land who are living in a state of poverty because that's what the thieves would want for them so that the thieves can thrive well this is a new beginning they talk about this whole reset thing, right? Yeah, there's going to be a reset. There is a reset. It's here. And it's called uh, doing the right thing. It's called justice. It's called truth. It's called righteousness. And it's called the uh, rightful heirs being given back what was stolen from them and I happen to be one of those so for all of those who are in those secret societies all of those orders all those wicked cult organizations that thrive on uh, the demise of people your time's up it's over. It's over. So you can tell your minions it's over. Because if nobody else who has a rightful claim to this place, this planet, this location, wherever I am, <laughs> um, if no one else is going to stand up for righteousness and for truth, well, then I take that as being my job to do that. Y'all know who I am. I know who I am. And with that, I am royalty and density and I know that. I'm wearing my feathers. Note to anybody who's following folks who claim to be organic to the land and don't wear their feathers. I would question that. Also beware of folks who are on this journey and on have the microphone who are uh, cross-dressers. People are, oh, those thieves, man. They don't let up. But neither do the righteous. 
so um I am not going to be bullied by any organizations. I am not going to be bullied by any individuals. I want what's mine and y'all are gonna give it to me. Y'all can't get rid of me. I'm not afraid. No fear lives here. And so, as a result of that, y'all should be afraid. Y'all should be very afraid. <laughs> because I have backup called Source. And I'm so happy and grateful now that everything that was stolen from me is now restored. Thank you. Thank you, Source. A lot of people call Source God or whatever you call your higher power. I call it Source. So, um, with that said, I expect to not have to pay for anything unless I want to. Okay? Um, meaning... Any companies that are on my land, I should have a credit, not a debit. Any uh, organizations that are on my land, it's a credit, it's not a debit. And so, staking my claim and um, nobody can take it from me because it's mine. And anyone who uh, feels the same, um, you know, feels the same. <laughs> but I'm not gonna be bullied. Y'all aren't going to charge me. Y'all aren't going to charge me for electricity. What is that? That's robbery, that's theft. It's not right. Nobody's lights should be turned off because they don't have enough to pay for some overextended uh, bill on their land. That's the crazy part. And for too long, people have been afraid to stand up. I'm not afraid. The fear has left the building, y'all. Maybe y'all just don't get that part. Fear has left the building. And so everything that was stolen from me, from my family, anybody in my bloodline is to be restored now.